Hey guys, and welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are cooking one of my all-time favorite things to eat. We're cooking peri peri chicken. Woo. I've spent a lot of time in Portugal in my life, and I have to say, the peri peri chicken there is unbelievable. We're gonna try and recreate it today, a slightly more healthy version. We're not using skin on our chicken, we're making the marinade from scratch. So let's get started. Right, first we're gonna start with some red chilies. Yeah, we have four, four of, of these. Those. We're going to leave the seeds in because we'd like it a little extra hot. Uh, then um, lemon. Yeah, juice of one lemon. And then I'm going to take a big bunch of flat leaf parsley and pop that in. And Mike, we're going to need Some three of garlic. cloves of garlic. Okay, so of garlic. You could... See, when was the first time you had chicken peri peri? Because I think it was the first time it was with you when we went to Portugal. That's the first, the first time, time you I ever had so, it. I think so, yeah. I was probably like five or something like that. They just did like chicken shacks like, on the side of the street. You pay Four euros, you get half a chicken. Four euros? It's not four, it's about normally about two, isn't it? It's well, so it cheap. used to be, now it's about four euros. So cheap, so tasty. Okay, there are in. Get that in. And then we need one tablespoon of smoked paprika. Go for it, Mike. Whoa, there we Whoa. go. Perfect. Okay, and then. We need four tablespoons of oil. I'm on it. This is going to be great. Right, so Last now. thing, oregano. You want four sprigs, and then we need to de leaf them. See, this is going to make me miss Portugal now. I'm going to wish I was back there, sitting with a nice, ice-cold Portuguese beer. Yeah. Well, I don't Chilling. like beer. Oh, no, no, no. Salt oh, and pepper. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Sharpen up. I think you actually need quite a lot of salt and pepper in marinades, because it goes like over lots of chicken, doesn't it? Let's do this thing. Dunzos. Dunzos. This looks... Pretty good. So your sauce is done. It is done. It's and done. It smells great. Time to get some bags and some chicken. And we're going to marinate. We're going to marinate the chicken. So first, I'm going to open the chicken bag. Are they thighs? They are thighs. Okay, now they're in. Can you please dispense the sauce? Dispense your sauce. It says use a few tablespoons in the recipe, but we're going all out and putting all of it in because we really like peri peri and we really like and spice. And when you because then you can then still use it out the package. That's uh, so what we're going to do now, shake. Smush it together. Smush it all together so it's well marinated. Make sure that is sealed, otherwise you'll have peri-peri everywhere. If you have the time, leave it for, some would say, three days. Or, three days? Or, you know, really get it stuck in there. Or you can just leave it for, you know, a few hours, a night. Um, as long as you've got, yeah. but not too long so that you can get it off, obviously. Obviously. So, this has been marinating now for about an hour. We are going to take it out and we're going to fry it. A bit of oil in the pan. In the pan. Oh. Just to sear it, right? Yeah. Don't touch that as well, that's well. It's going to be hot. Right, don't, don't move it once you put it on. <laughs> Woo! Hi over there. You can't take the heat, Mike. <laughs> I can't. I'll take one for the team. So the entire casting crew have now <laughs> evacuated outside. We may um, have caused a bit of uh, We may have caused a bit of smoke, but it yeah. is looking so good and It'll it's going to be tasty. Peri -peri. I reckon it's about time to get back it's in there. It's because our little thing's not under the extractor. Yeah, we need one of those pop-up instructors. We do. Yeah, maybe next time. So we survived the smoke. <coughs> we're now back inside. Just about. Um, we're going to transfer these into a baking tray and then we're going to bake them I in the oven. The, make sure they've got the crispy you side. You want to go on the other side? So we're also going to spoon a little bit of extra on top of these. We're going all out on spice today. Right, should I put these in the oven? Yeah. So I think these go in for about 25 minutes, and after about 10 minutes we maybe add a bit more marinade as well, just to make sure it's well marinated. I'm going to eat them, they look so they good. Look really Quick, good. Put them in. Get them in the oven. So I think the chicken is done. It is some chicken. That looks really good. Get the pan out of my face. Right, right, let's pop the chicken on top. Oh, look at that. I'm going to sprinkle some chopped herbs. And we're done. So it's tasting time. Tasting time. I'm going to pop a bit. a bit of lemon on my bit. Check you out. This looks so yummy. Mmm. That's really good. Really good heat to it. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of the best marinades we've ever done. 
That is seriously delicious. If you guys recreate this at home, please let us know in the comment section below or if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you go and subscribe because we have a brand new recipe every single Wednesday. And if you fancy seeing some of our other recipes, we've cooked some Mexican quesadillas, which you can see here, and we've also done some pizzas. Make your own pizzas, including the pizza base. So if you want to see that, then click here and we'll see you next week. Bye guys. Goodbye.